This is the pressure uh, tank. Uh, it has a bladder inside of it. It uh, helps keep the pump motor from cycling. This is the uh, motor starter for the pump. This is a Raycor spin down filter. This is a carbon filter, clean water with the clean water filter in it, the carbon filter. This is the brine tank. This is the filter itself. It has resin little beads in it. And when the water passes over it, magnesium and calcium attach to the beads. And you can do so many gallons of water passing through it before you have to wash, backwash the beads to clean the magnesium and calcium off. And that's what the brine is for. So this is the brine tank of salt in it. This is your ultraviolet filter here. Uh, it has two ultraviolet lamps in it and they're fed by a two ballast. Each one has a ballast. Change the lamps every year. It also has a bypass on it and it's got the two brass valves which feeds the normal water loop through and if i have a problem with the ultraviolet filter as with any other device in the system i can bypass it and that will that's the bypass valve i can shut the two uh, brass valves there and bypass this i can take it off and do whatever i want same goes for The water softener I have, that's the bypass valve and that's the isolation valves that can isolate the water softener. There's the bypass valve for the carbon filter and the two isolation valves, one, two. And with the Resco spin down filter, same situation. The motor starter is controlled by the pressure switch, which is on the incoming line. When it calls for pressure, it starts the pump controller and gives us pressure. Yeah. For supports, what, what I do is I've got a regular two-hole strap, a little piece of EMT conduit, and you can't probably see it, but between the two screws on the strap, I've got a piece of metal plumber's tape that holds the pipe in position. Because the valves um, have a bulbous part, uh, it can't sit flat against the wall. So uh, I stand it off a little bit. 